once again, we're here. We're press like for options. The group. That is me, Jeff. The group. Jeff, Jeremy, Matthew, <laughs> and Fred. F dog. No, no, we're not. God. We started it. We're ending it, Fred. <laughs> no, no, no. We gotta shut, stop. Shut up, Jay. The F dog thing is getting cold. Oh, we gotta stop. God. Fucking Jay. Yo, Jay, tell Jay to shut up. I got a bomb. 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 Throw it! <laughs> As you can see, Matthew here is playing Wind Waker. On the next gen system! Because we're talking about next gen. Talking about next gen. Next gen! Before we start this. Yeah. What number generation are we in again? Seven? Uh. Let's see. Well, no, it's the eighth, right? really matter. We're in a next gen. No, this is just. Yeah, fun little thing. numbers matter. I guess you do. As Atari I Jaguar. I didn't even know there was a number of uh, <laughs> us. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I nice. beat myself up. Wow, you just hit yourself with a bomb, you fucking idiot. I did. I didn't know we were in a number of next gen, but. <clears throat> but anyway, go. So, uh, yeah, speaking of next gen, we we're talking about next gen specifically the PS4 and Xbox One. I would talk more about the. I would want us to talk more about the Wii U, but there aren't that many games. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. There's not really a whole lot to talk about, honestly. Because no, technically, some people don't even count the Wii U as next gen. I don't know why you wouldn't. Next gen console, last gen uh, it is, hardware. It is a next gen console. So anyway, PS4 and Xbox One's out. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. And yes. there's problems. Of course, oh, there are problems. If, if you follow Dashy, go watch his unboxing. Go, go on Dashy's channel. Dashy XP, right? Yeah, yeah. Dashy XP, and watch his watch his. Sir, 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 YouTube dot com slash Dashy. What's what's his name? Dashy XP. 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 Yeah, uh, like yeah, that. No, that, X, that Xbox One. Yeah, that was so, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, both systems launched and they've had their problems. We're going to talk about the problems first because they're hilarious. Yeah, tell me about first else, the PS4. Really the big, the big, what's the what was, uh, the big issue with the PS4 is the blue light of death. Well, yeah, believe. there was the blue light of death. Yeah, there was also. They um, fixed that. Well, it's I, I. They're just replacing them. Yeah, no, they don't have any definitive. It's apparently not as it's not as bad as people are making it out to be because there aren't that many. I could mm. be wrong, but from what I remember, there aren't that many. Okay. Blue lights mm. of death. Shit. What was the other? There was the other. There problem. was a uh, there was a disk drive read error. All right. But that was that but that as well was kind of like few and far between. What about the many. the heating thing? I was reading that thing was like running mad high. Yeah, there have been pictures on the Kotaku. I'm actually looking at one right now. Um, of a PS4 on fire. Of a PS4 um, through uh, infrared. It might as well be on fire, yeah. Yeah, it's through infrared. And it's just, it's burning. It's like, yeah. it's literally like, what was it, 100 and some odd degrees? Yeah, it's like crazy hot. Like, is that just, is that from playing it on for like hours? Or is that like... That's hours. I think, that, that, was that's actually, hour, I think hours. that was actually, like, yeah, after like several hours of play. How many though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, probably a number of hours. Yeah. Even, even so, with all these problems. This is this is the whole. This falls under the whole buyers beware when I. You know what's comes funny out. though? Yeah. With the launch of this, this is not as bad as the PS3 and that. Cooking burgers. Cooking burgers. <laughs> the Xbox 360 launch. Those systems had a lot of problems. Like a lot. They were oh, missing when you I took wait, it out. No, I didn't get one until like pretty late. I didn't get a PS3 until 2008 anyway. So I didn't get one until like. What was it, like 20, 20, 2011, 2010, 2010, 2011? I don't remember. Mine might have been 2009 or something. So yeah, both of them have had their fair share of problems, and everyone's, they're like, PS4 sucks, Xbox One sucks because of these problems. Well, it's just a new hardware launch. But then people are like, why don't you get a Wii U? And I'm like, ha <laughs> Then you go, why don't you shut your face? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you shouldn't be saying that, like, why would you get the system if it's breaking like this? Well, every there's no such yeah, thing as technology that comes like out that does, doesn't there, have a problem. There could be. Like what? There could be. It's just that things aren't made like they used to. Well, how about, how about let's, let's make this comparison. When the Wii U first came out, since this technically is with this generation, with, what problems were, did the Wii U have? The only problem I had was that update, and people were breaking their Wii U. So that was because they're unplugging yeah, it, right? that was people, though. Or turning it off, at least. Yeah, well, because it fro some of them froze during the update, though. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Okay, so then some of them froze. It's not it. completely the user's fault. Either the either was frozen or like the the internet connection was just terrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah why'd yeah. you do that? Yeah, why did you do that? Why not? You 
You gotta go back into the volcano. I guess area. go there and talk to them. Cause but you gotta go talk to Medley. She's in the. I, I talked to Medley already. I guess that oh, was you? really no, you the didn't. only problem. I, when I was playing last time, I did. Oh, well, you gotta go talk to her again. You talked to her like that guy, like Ball. And you gotta chuck her off the chuck her off the cliff thing. I already did that. Oh, so yeah, both, both these system problems, I don't really see it as an issue. Well, well, actually, we didn't get the the other one, the Xbox One. The PS4 might have had a share fair share of problems, but apparently it was only like point four of people who bought here's, PS4s. Here's the, here's the thing. And there was all those and, Taco Bell com, um, yeah. uh, things. Here's the thing, and this will lead into Xbox One issues, is that Sony is actually responding, and it's just like, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out, we'll fix your shit. Whereas Xbox One, so far with their issues, they're just like, uh, we don't really know. They said we'll they'll you... replace them. Did they? Yeah. Oh, well, they said they I mean, know. they got some kind of answer, but overall, there's really... Uh, they, they don't have a definitive answer either. They're same same boat as Sony, really. Yeah. But leading into the Xbox One, one of the major problems is the disk read, the disk drive error. That's it's it. <laughs> it's from what I hear, it's the disk drive is not catching. That's what I'm hearing. So as well. when you put the disk in, it's not the it's not spinning. And I'm hearing it's there's increasing reports of it, and it's not just like a contained issue. It's it's becoming a widespread issue with Xbox. Models. I know people don't like I get, I I like citing sources like other YouTubers, so go on Kotaku and one of the things that they posted today was they've been they got 10,000 emails about yeah. Xbox One problems yeah wow yeah they got like 10,000 emails saying about the disk drive error yeah you know I mean you could still play games on it but for the disk drive to not work like that it's it's kind I mean, of of course you can always play you still play games on it, especially if they're on the hard drive but what if you're what if you're um, what if you're playing that new that new Halo that came out with the launch? Oh wait, oh never mind. But anyway, <laughs> if, you're, if you're playing Call of Duty, what if you're you're playing Call of Duty Assassin's Creed, whatever course. you got on the Xbox One, and you got the disc and you slap that shit in, and you're like, yeah, and then you're, <sighs> man, that sucks. But yeah, right now, it, people people who were toting how much better the Xbox One was going to be at launch for some reason. You, you pay what you comparison. get. You, you pay what you get. Five hundred dollars. Every system's going to have its issues. You know what? Um. Speaking of Xbox One, I have a major gripe uh, with the controller. Double A's. What the fuck? Sony has a chargeable controller. Hey, man, but at least they gave you Duracell and not those crappy Panasonic. <laughs> I don't give those stupid shits to you. Oh, yeah, but how much? Is, is the controller any cheaper? No. Than the PS4? I don't believe so. I think it's the same Probably price. Probably not. I don't know. Someone well, hey, man, someone you can buy that charge and play cable, cable all right, separately. For, first of all, before we... Mac, please, go back inside. What was the top go down, go into the bottom floor. Uh, if you enter, it's like the Vita. Go down. If you stairs. enter, you can win a PS4. Okay. And there was winners like every Ooh. 15 Ooh. minutes or something. Were they not getting their yeah. PS4s? No, they got them. Yeah. Oh. That's not the problem. These PS4s, some there? of these people who got it really like that, sorry, yeah. they weren't working. Oh, okay. There. Some people were able to fix their problem. Some people just had to flat out get a new one. Oh. I mean, they got a return, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that much. That's not a big issue. And the same thing with the Xbox yeah. One. Like, um, another thing people have been comparing about with the PS4 and Xbox One is the UI, and people have been saying how much better the Xbox One UI fine. is to mm -hmm. the PS4's UI. The the user interface for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. Don't have a bow. Don't have a bow. And I've seen both. Oh. And I gotta say, I like uh, <clears throat> I like the PS4's uh, user more. interface more. I haven't really looked at it. Don't really don't. The Xbox One's user interface it's is like, it's Windows 8. Yeah, it's Windows 8. I haven't seen the PS4 at all. It's cool that you can snap things on the dashboard and like the the you can customize it any way you want. Yeah, I kind of saw some. But of at the same time, it's Windows 8, and Windows 8 kind of sucks. It's not it's so not bad once you bad. know what you're doing. It's not the worst thing. But I mean, me I and mean, Jerry searching how to turn this goddamn computer off was like. I'm like, that should not happen. Dude, it I, was, I mean, I was watching Maximilian. Shout outs to Maximilian, Miles.23 again. Um, I was watching some of his killer, killer instinct videos, and he was like surfing through, you know, his throw it at the rock, throw it at the rock. He was searching through his. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, okay. All right. Anyway, he was searching. He was searching through his freaking. Um, you know, he was going back and forth searching through his messages. Um, you gotta throw it as soon as it hit. As soon as it's about to explode. Um, Fuck. Searching through his messages, through his dashboard or whatever, and it, I don't know, it seemed very streamlined, and it was really nice, going, with him going back and forth between the game. And it didn't look, it actually looked pretty solid, I liked it. I, I don't know what people are complaining about, if they're no, complaining I, I, I like the way it looks. It looks nice, and you can change like the, the color, it looks. it looks nice. It's not that I don't like the way it looks, it's just it's Windows 8. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 
Wait, what do you expect them to do? Have you used Wimbles anymore? A little bit. I don't really like it. But what do you, what do you, what, what do you, what do you like, if you're, you use it. Oh, let's, let's play devil's advocate right now. If you, if you were a company like Microsoft that came out with a new what operating system. What else would you use? You would, you would incorporate it into yes, any other device. Yes, of course you would. So, I'm not saying for them to use something different, can I? Fuck Christ. I hate you. That's <laughs> <It's> just me. <laughs> That's just me. Well, stop being you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's kind of stupid to compare interfaces anyway, like What's that, because they both have their strong points and their weak points, right? Yeah, yeah but you do. know, you got to compare them because you know, with the last ones, you got the XMB was terribly Hold on, jump hard over. to use. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, you you got <laughs> to jump on it and then throw the bomb. The XMB was terrible. I couldn't navigate that thing to save my life. Uh, it's rocket science, what really. The XMB. Yeah, it was it the was worst. So thing. bad, I don't really? understand. I didn't have trouble with it. Everyone first had trouble with it because the first time couldn't... I used the X and B, I was like, "This is." This is nice. I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa!" You press left and you go to video. You press right, you go to game. This is <laughs> oh my god! My I don't head. know how anyone had trouble. I, I was playing the Xbox like to watch a DVD. Like this is like a few months ago. I was like, "Where the fuck do I go to play a DVD? I'm here under video, but I can't play it." I forget what hey, I had if to you use the PS3 it. and you put a DVD into it, um, it's gonna be broke because like it's not under game. Oh, yeah, sorry. but see, yeah, people had, <laughs> no, people said, had a problem with that. You know what I'm talking but, about. What, what I'm saying is, yeah, I had I had a problem when I was on the Xbox trying to play a DVD. I was like, where the hell do I go? Yeah. It says play play disc right there on like the thing, but I can't play it. I had to go somewhere else to play. It. So yeah, um, with the with the user interface, I just wanted to say they they both look fine. There's nothing really wrong. They with both the other do one. look nice. They um, do their job and they work. <coughs> there I you mean, go. I lean a little more towards PS4's interface, but I mean, oh, no, I don't both actually. Nice. This is one thing I don't know. Can you install a game on Xbox One and then play it as it's installed? I don't think so. I think that was the thing that PS4 was. You know, going on about. It. I don't think you could do that next well, the, I could be wrong. I don't know. The PS4 has a processing unit that's like meant for that. In general, I don't know if the Xbox One has it. <coughs> I'm just, you got me. That one I don't know about. I'm not that's sure. A good question, actually. But that's the one I brought this up the other day too, and uh, I think I only brought it up to Jeff. Uh, and that was what? like, what about the whole ten dollars uh, bring your 360 game over to? Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Xbox One, do they do that like in PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4? Yeah, they did it with some games. They did, oh, sorry, they they did, did it with games. Battlefield, uh, yeah, the yeah, new Assassin's yeah. Creed. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. And some, so there was, I think there was two other games, but it was only for a limited time. What do you mean a limited time? I, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. It was like, yo, if you pre-order this for your PS3... You can upgrade when you get that PS4. No, but I'm talking. I'm talking the Xbox. If you bought it for the 360 and you want to do it for the Xbox One. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it was like that. You could get Battlefield 4 for your PS3. You had to pre-order it, I think, though. You could get oh, it for okay. the the full 60. But the reason why I'm asking, the reason why yeah. I'm, I'm elaborating on that because you keep saying PS3. I'm, I'm talking 360 to Xbox One. Yeah, and I'm talking right. PS3 to PS4. I know, I know that, but I'm, I know that they, they're doing that with the PS3 and PS4, but I'm saying, are they doing that with, are they definitely doing that with the 360 to the Xbox? Oh, oh, That's what okay. I'm asking. Because okay. I, I, def, I know that. I'm oh, just saying, like, because oh. I've never, my I've bad. never, I, I, my bad. I personally never heard, like, anyone say anything about, oh, oh buy this game for the 360 and uh, pick it up for the Xbox One for $10. Yeah, I don't, I don't think okay, I saw I, that. I was looking at butts. It's all cool. You're looking at butts? Yeah. It's all cool, bro. Do me, do me a favor. Pick up that Deku stick. I got it. I got Deku it. Deku stick. I'm all up in, I'm all up in this rock. What so, yeah. so like, uh, Light on fire. Uh, another thing that's kind of weird is, uh, the, the whole thing with 1080p right now. Yeah. Um, a majority of the games on the Xbox One don't do, it just doesn't do 1080p. Why? I don't know. And it's kind of weird. Call of Duty does 1080p on the PS4, but not on the Xbox it's One. It's gotta be a reason. It's a shame they didn't call it. Yeah. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he was doing that last time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a shame they didn't. It's a shame they didn't call it the Xbox 720 because you know 720p. <laughs> no, I'm Bunch just of kidding. Haters. I'm just kidding. No, no. It's, it, Xbox. I don't. It, it, yeah, it's I don't weird. understand why. It's and like, books. like I told you guys, uh, Rise, Rise, Sun and Rome, like one of their nicest looking games. Yeah. It's only running at 900p. The fuck. <laughs> I thought Crytek was all about those uh, god rays. I guess, <laughs> okay. I guess not anymore. They're just, you know... It's such a strange thing, because like, almost all the games on the PS4 are, are uh, 1080p. And 
did you hear about Assassin's Creed 4? They just updated it again to look nicer. On the yeah, PS4. I heard about that. They, I couldn't tell the difference because I'm stupid, but... If I may bring up a point. What? Mm. When, uh, the, when Microsoft released that statement saying, like, uh, if you have a game at 720p or 1080p, you're not going to tell the no, difference. No, no, that was that engineer. No, that engineer. When he made that point and, like, he posted those pictures, the Xbox One picture looked horrible. Like, you, compared to, <laughs> compared to wait, the one he was you know what to. happened after he said that? What? Microsoft themselves came out and they're like, yeah, check out Forza 5, 1080p, 60 <laughs> frames a second, this shit is sick. What that engineer said, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> no, how, how embarrassing is that, right? <laughs> to come out and be like, so yeah, 720 and 1080 really doesn't matter in the long run, guys. And then your company you work for itself is like, yeah, 1080p is the best. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> we the best. We the best. Yeah, it's what they did. Or did, did you guys? Oh, no. Did you guys see that um, um, Sony and Microsoft congratulated each other on their launches? That they did. They did. I don't see that's, the, that's sportsman like. See now, I wanna, I wanna know if that's even a, though if, Sony was like, yo, suck, yo, suck our balls, Microsoft. Because like, right, right before, like, <laughs> I wanna know if that's like just in good competition or if they're just doing that. I don't know. It's, pu- it's publicity. Because like, yeah, because like right before the Xbox One launched, um, job, Sony was just like. Why settle for 720p when you could? Yeah, exactly. You know, they they release some like some sort of like um, uh, I don't know, something to to sell off the PS4 again. And they well, like, they also did the whole hey, you want to uh, let people borrow games? Oh, <laughs> I think I'll just get it back. I said borrow. <laughs> <laughs> so Shuhei Yoshida. Um, speaking of uh, between PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, he po- he posts on, twi- on Twitter and this dude tweets all the time. It's hilarious. Um, uh, was about how uh, 1080p makes you a better gamer. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah, he he just he, <laughs> look that guy's like 1080p. <laughs> that's, um, that's you. 10, 1080p or bust. <laughs> yeah, no, he was like 1080p makes you a better gamer. I'm like, what? How's the resolution make you better? Does it matter how many P's that the system has? I think it matters how many digits are in that. Uh, I just had another question. What's yeah. up? Does the Xbox One play MP3s and or CDs? Yeah. No, not at launch. Oh, okay. So nope, not at launch. Well, yeah, they got to patch that in, don't they? Because wasn't the, hey. the, the PlayStation guy was like, yo, we might do that. So you know, what, you know what's pretty so funny? Much? Is that you can't, unless you hack the system... And this is some, actually this is going to lead into a story I have from when I went on to the uh, to get my Legend of Zelda 3DS. Game. Remember that story I was going to tell you guys? Yeah. So like, um, you can't on Xbox One. You cannot play MP3s, I believe, and you can't put CDs in. Whatever. You can't even change the hard drive on the Xbox yeah. One right now. I think you can. I think I saw something recently that no. said you could. Not at launch. Um, I'm pretty sure That's I saw That's a PS4 something. you can. Yeah, I know. I saw, I saw that, but I'm pretty sure... I'm going to go look for it. Go look well, for I it. Thought, I'm pretty sure you can. I thought the whole MP3... You can't put an external hard drive in it. I thought the whole CD thing... I'm going to go look it up because I think I saw something. I thought the whole go CD thing was... Uh, they, they do... Like, they don't play CDs, but you can insert a CD and actually rip it. I don't see the big deal about crying about MP3s on a console. You have a million other devices to play music. You, that's a good point, but you know some people do want to play music. Well, now, playing oh, what, if, what if what if they do this? If you can't, if they can't play the CDs, what if they're just like thinking in the future maybe they can allow like music streaming things like Pandora or something. That's like that. probably what they're going for. But they, they, the guy, the guy. The president guy. Sure, hey, sure yeah, he was like, "Yo, I didn't know you guys were gonna cry about this so much. We might, we might just look." Down. You know, guys, I thought you all he was like, music we were, unlimited. Sorry, we, we were focusing on games, guys. That was so. the joke. Actually, that was a joke going around for a little while. He's like, "It's not a conspiracy to get you to subscribe to Music Unlimited. <laughs> Relax. I know it's crappy. Jeff Hyland said so when he tried it. It's really not good." Yeah, thought you'd tell everyone. Yeah, he was just like, "Yeah." Yeah, but I could have sworn he, I could have sworn he said that it would uh. You could put CDs in to rip them oh. onto the hard drive, but you just couldn't play them. Oh. You can replace the that. Xbox One hard drive, but it's hard. <laughs> I like that. I like that wording. So, all right, my thing. Oh, Fred confirmed confirmed that you can change it at the cost of your soul. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, one one of the things. Okay, so 
I went to the Xbox One launch event to get the Legend of Zelda 3DS XL. Sacrilege! What is wrong? And with you? I think the guy Ooh. at um, Jersey Mike's laughed at me <laughs> when I said that. This kid who came out was like, "What are y'all waiting for?" And I answered, and he's just like washing windows. And he was looking at us when he answered, but then when I gave my answer, he looked away. I'm pretty sure he was laughing. He's like, "Fucking faggot!" Hey, look, he's playing one right now. Fucking idiot! <laughs> so. I was talking to this guy for like an, a good hour and a half, and he was talking about how he owns every game since Call of Duty 4. I'm like, what? Every game. And I'm like, hey, I'm here to get the Legend of Zelda 3DS XL. It comes out today. I thought it comes out this. And he's like, it's coming out today? My friends will bring us all the fun ever. And this guy, this is the same kind of guy who I was like, did you know you can't apparently change out the Xbox One's hard drive? At launch, and you can't put in externals like yeah, you can. I'm like without hacking. He's like yeah, you can with hacking. I'm like yes, yeah. all right. And he's like I own seven three sixties. I know what I'm supposed to do. No <laughs> oh, seven three sixties. <laughs> he owns seven three sixties. Why? He bragged about this because he was playing Harlem Shake on his Asus tablet. So did did he own seven three sixties because all of them? Because he's hacking them. He's the oh. kind of guy who doesn't pay for games. Of course. Why would you need to hack seven? So talking to this guy kind of gave me like brain cancer. I think. <laughs> He was just, he was really annoying, and he was just, you could tell him how much of a fanboy he was, because he was just like, yeah, Sony's definitely going to get out of the video no, 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 market soon. Back, back, back. Okay, so listen. Wait, did you guys hear me? That's what he said. Sony's going to get out of the video game market soon. And I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, definitely. but Sony just sold like a million units on their launch day in the U.S. He's like, yeah, they're probably going to get out soon. Jeff, you know they rushed the PS4. I think we need yes. to take you to Doctor Road right now. I'm pretty sure you have cancer from Did, did you know... That the PS, that because of what happened, like Sony's gonna get out of the business, and like they suck in comparison to Microsoft apparently, because the PS4 was rushed. Can, can, can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. To, to everybody, that's good. Did, did you have more to say? Yeah, a little. Okay, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. Go ahead. Ask it later. Ask What's it your later. question? No, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Like, what was your retrospect on the last generation? Oh yeah, no, we'll do that in a little bit. Yeah, then do, finish. Uh, so he, t- he's, he's telling me all this, and I'm just, I'm like, what a fucking idiot, <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, like, are you oh, serious? Oh, he's dead. Are you seriously gonna sit there and tell me Sony's gonna be out of the video game business? You forgot and your stack. He told me the reason apparently they rushed the PlayStation Four was to compete with Microsoft. Because Microsoft's got the better technology what? and Microsoft's got more money than Sony. And I'm did, like, did you tell this guy what for? Did you tell him he was like? I kind of just yes him to death. To be <laughs> honest. There's no arguing with people like that sometimes. I guess yeah, that's true. Some yeah. of the things I was talking about, he's the like I was talking about certain games with a GameStop employee. And he was like, oh, that's before my time. I'm like, <laughs> Ocarina of Time? What? Yeah, yeah, Just some of the games I was talking about. He had no idea what I was talking about, but most things. When I brought up the PlayStation like brand in general, I was like, oh, yeah, that, that thing. <laughs> so you just three, all he was is 360, Call of Duty, Halo. So, you know, that's the kind of people that were at the that's Xbox. That's your average launch. casual gamer for you. Oh yeah, you know he, he hacks things and he has his arm. You know, lava spewing out of this wall. It's kind of impressive that this wood bridge thing kind of stayed. No, it didn't. It burned a little. Yeah, but there's still parts of it here. So, so you have to rip apart the case, remove the console speaker and Wi-Fi board, then unscrew. Stop there. <laughs> yeah. That's a little too much. That's a little too much. Do we need more? You yeah. have to remove the Wi-Fi board. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure on the PS4 you just take the one side off and boom. <laughs> so yeah, you can replace it, but no, no, yeah. unless you're, yeah. you know, that kind of techie guy, yeah. it's probably not. So basically, it. they kind of fold the Nintendo with the hard drive. Yeah. You can like destroy your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi board. You could destroy your <laughs> entire <laughs> computer. You could destroy your entire machine. How do I get back up? Just up. Okay. <laughs> I, was I, was tap- I was tapping up constantly, and I was like, I "Ain't tapping." Anything. You should have pressed A, bro. I should have, and I would have died. Um, uh, the other thing, of course, is the price difference between the PS4 and the Xbox One. Uh, that, that's been the subject of debate, uh, and really there How shouldn't be any is? debate. The PS4 is 400 flat out. That's what's yeah. going to help it. And the Xbox Five. is... Five. Five. Like, because because of Connect. In all honesty, I'm not trying to shit on the Xbox. It's a nice system. I will I will say that. It, but I mean, there's no. I kind of like it. If you if you want like a system for like if you want something that looks good that has like the power to back it up, like, why wouldn't you go with the PS4? It's cheaper. It's it's you know got it's it's a much more powerful system. Jeremy, Jeremy, 
You completely forgot to bring up that Vita PS4 bundle. That oh, yeah, might that's be right. That here. is coming out. What do you think this is, Catherine? You can't do that. <laughs> that's Edge. How, I'm so mad you even attended. Edge. <laughs> well, that Where you feel? Uh, uh, so, time? yeah, uh, f uh, by the way, that's uh, something that just got announced recently is that the PS4 and Vita bundle, called the Ultimate Bundle, How much will is that? become. Don't know. Um, don't got a price. They didn't price it. It, it only popped up in what, UK? But yeah, it's only in the UK. If it does well enough, it'll go everywhere, and that's awesome. I can't imagine being any more than five hundred, yeah. six hundred. Yeah. Can you? But that's a good deal. Getting a Vita with a PS4. If it's five hundred, yeah, you. You're, this, you're I was thinking about this. Did Nintendo still. ever bundle any of their handhelds with no. their console? I don't think so. That would be like amazing. Right they should have. They could have done that with like Four Swords or like Fuck you. Crystal Chronicles, Some people, right, Matt? Yep. Yep. Some people would Crystal say Chronicles? Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> Some people would say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, Sony's getting that Sony's just trying to sell the Vita, which I can understand. Yes, I, I, I they agree are. With that. Yeah, they're trying. To, they're trying to put the Vita out there, and it's true because this system, unfortunately, is not selling. No, yeah. it's not as well as it could be. It's it's selling. It's selling. There more. are Vita owners. There are enough Vita owners out there. It's now, selling you know? more, but it's not selling as much as it could be, which is a shame because it's a great system. It really is. Wait until we get that Persona Rhythm game. People, yeah, dude. people still think there's nothing to play on the Vita though. Which is a lot. Well, you know what I think about that, Jeff? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest thing. All I hear that's good for it is Assassin's Creed Liberation. What I mean, kind I, of... I saw that. Who says too. that game is good? I saw that person that said that to you. And yeah. I was just like, are you kidding me? That game is... And, I, and, and, and then that person was like, sorry, I'm trying to save it for a tablet. Why... <laughs> sorry. You know, that's the thing well, I, I noticed. Even even I noticed a trend lately. People, instead of buying a Vita, want to buy a tablet. Instead. And it's like Vita's, whatever. Vita's I mean, better than a tablet. You don't a tablet. Play games. I mean, tablets. I mean, if you don't want to play a tablet, like for what those people are gonna do, that's fine. You, and I you know what? That. It's because they want to catch up on Attack on Titan. Pretty much, and I, I get that. But that's besides the point. That's portable. We're we're talking we're what talking consoles here, home consoles. That needs some charging. You know. Oh. Uh, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, my ass. Te technical batteries dying. Well, get your <laughs> shit and let's do this. Anyway. But, um, yeah, let me slow you down. PS4, why wouldn't you get one, in all honesty? Cheaper, a cheaper alternative. I mean, if you, if, if, if I hear it smells if nicer. If you're really itching for that next gen. If, yeah, if you really need the next gen thing right now, which also brings up another thing that I need to, I want to say, and it's just like, as much as I do want one, I don't think you need one right now. I know I'm definitely. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to have a next gen console right now. You can wait a little bit. It's Especially great. with all the problems. It's great to have it now, yeah. Wait for them to work out like all the small kinks. Buyers beware. Really, wait for infamous seconds when they come out. That yeah. too. I would say wait that till too. February next year, and that's when don't all the great Don't be like me. Don't be like an out. asshole who just wants things. Yeah, pretty much. Jeff, you're pretty you're much a jerk. That was, that was me with the you Wii U too. You with your two 3DSs, you asshole. Let me borrow one. I mean, personally, no. <laughs> I want both. I want, I want the um, the PS4, and I want an Xbox One. Yeah. And the only reason I want an Xbox One, Killer Instinct, for Killer Instinct. Oh, that. Oh, by the way, back to my my story about the launch event. Oh yeah. I yeah. brought up Killer Instinct to this guy. He was like, "What's that?" Oh. I'm like, "Wait, what do you mean? That's like the highest rated game on Xbox One." He's like, "Oh, it's a fighting game, right?" Oh, okay. What's so that supposed to be? He doesn't like fighting. Maybe he doesn't like fighting. Games. How do you not know Killer Instinct is out on the Xbox One? Well, I don't give don't no excuse no, no excuses. This guy's apparently some tech savvy <laughs> stick up his ass guy. Do you know those? People? I bet you he's not even really tech savvy. He just got other people to do that for his. I think years. he's just saying things he hears. Probably. And it's probably not that. Oh, hard there was one other thing, and you're probably Fred. There's one other thing he said, and you're gonna be like, what? He was like, why isn't everyone switching over to digital yet? I mean, you don't want to be looking for a disc for five hours or whatever. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to find him. Wait, five hours? And he's like, no, he thinks like, he thinks you're going to be spending five hours rummaging around for a disc or a cartridge. I'm so mad right now. Yo. I don't, whoa. If I was there, I would start hooking up. You know what? To an extent, I agree with the digital age is going to come. It is going to come. But you got to ease people into it. Like, I have my games digital on my Vita, and like, but that's only on my portable consoles because I like to have, I like to have my games right there for me to just pick and play right on there. Blake Blue wasn't there for you to pick and play. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god, you're bringing this up again. Yeah, but he went and downloaded it. Like, yeah, like I could that. go and download it. I can't like snap that. my fingers. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but he he snap did it. He didn't go and download it. Snap the game for me. I can't snap my fingers. You know. Like we do the retrospective. 
Okay. But yeah, but you know. We're not done yet though with this. But I'm just, I, I mean, I can, I can understand wanting your games digital, but it's not that time yet. There's nothing wrong with having disc, I discs and stuff. I personally no, there isn't. like to have physical what? stuff. I like to touch things. I like to touch things too. I like and I like to read. No, here's, like the, here's the thing. Well. Here's the, here's, I like the read. Let's boil this down to a very simple thing. E3 proved a very big point. People <laughs> proved, <laughs> proved. That people still want physical media. People are not ready for a completely digital. Yet. Yeah. Of how am I gonna get my like, Steam? Like, okay. Digital. You know what? Yeah. Sony and Steam specifically. I'm not gonna count Origin because fuck EA. Um, they are doing Steam. Steam specifically, of course, is doing. They're doing a great job of introducing people to digital. Sony with their day one, uh, day one digitals and PlayStation Plus with free games. And Steam, of course, with their amazing deals and their ability to gift games to anyone that's on your friends list or whatever. So and that indie market. The indie market as well is growing, especially on consoles. On PS4, of course, and on Steam. But that's what the, that's the great thing right now. Is, uh, give, it, give it about maybe five more years. Four or five more years, people are going to be like, I want digital, I don't care about discs anymore. That's what's going to happen with this generation. Yeah, but up. my limited edition. Yeah? No, I was just that guy. I want, I want my, was there, right? I want my rod the blood edge. You know what? You're still going to get it. You'll still get it. Because remember, Sony's still in that mindset that PS3 is going to still be supported for the next 10 years probably. Too. <laughs> you'll get your limited editions if everything's digital. They'll probably just mail you all your shit. I don't fucking know. They'll do something. They'll redeem it online phone. and we'll send you a digital, we'll send you a digital copy. <clears throat> They'll go accommodate you somehow. Why'd you destroy them? Don't uh, destroy them. They'll just start sending cold. Two other things to bring about uh, the PS4 and Xbox One is this, the size comparison between the two. <laughs> I'm not too happy about how big the actually. Xbox One is. But yeah, how it's it does look It does look nice, but god damn it. How it looks like a freaking VCR. It looks like a VCR. And also the controllers. Um, I gotta go with the PS4 controller. You can't kill it. Well, I gotta be. go with the PS4. <laughs> I gotta really go with the PS4 controller. I've used it. It's nice. It is Maybe if I use the Xbox One, I'll think differently. Yeah, how about how about when you release a console, Microsoft? You you have available kiosk at GameStop. No. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a big issue right now with me. Like, I, wait, is there a PS4 one? Yeah, yeah. there are oh, PS4 the PS4 demos Great. all over. But well, for some reason, one. every every Xbox One kiosk at every store I've been to, uh -oh. <laughs> Toys R Us, Best Buy, GameStop, they're not like available to play. They're just, they have, a, they're running like a video demo, and it's not even on. It's not even on at all. Yeah. It's not on an Xbox One. I don't know. Off if, of a UFC I don't know if this is a New Jersey thing, because we are located in New Jersey. I don't know if this is just like a, thing, a local thing for us, or if, I mean, if anyone else who's watching the video in the comments, if your stores have r working, you know, Microsoft Xbox One too. demos, other than the Microsoft store. And you're in Jersey. Please let us know if you're anywhere. I don't. It doesn't matter if you have to. I want to kill her instinct. Please just tell me. I want to know if this is happening all over the country. If they're at least putting this shit out, because it's like it's after release. It's Sunday, November twenty twenty fourth, twenty fourth, and they they still like each store still doesn't have like a, a working con a console that you can play. Come on. And it doesn't do the console any justice when the video you're playing constantly skips whatever. And it's, it's it really horrible. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'll just say this, of course, the, P the Xbox the Xbox One looks like <laughs> a VCR, and the PS4 looks like an eraser, so it can erase the Xbox. It does look system. like a VCR. Oh, wait, eraser. you didn't bring up that thing where you can connect them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Two other things before we end this. The Xbox One the on the back has an HDMI in and out, and... There's no say on what you can actually connect to the back. It's meant for your cable box, but you can connect a Wii U, a PS4, 360s. You can connect oh, infinite amounts back of back consoles back to this thing. It's pretty funny, but here's the problem with that. Um, anything other than your cable box is going to lag, yeah. like horribly, so there's really no point. Uh, the other thing was, um, the uh, and this is more of a personal note, is that the the Xbox One's power brick looks like the Ghostbusters ghost trap. It's huge. <clears throat> so, it so I thought I should just bring that up. If you just look at it, you, you just want to, like, throw it out there and step on a button and just capture ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so Microsoft did manage to do that. Other than that, uh, any, anything else? Well, what I have to say is, I know we've been talking about PS4 and Xbox One the whole entire time, and that's the point of this video. Yeah. But I just wanted to make one mention of Wii U. And that's, like... Before anyone is just like you, you, you neglect it to Wii U. Wii U is next gen as well. It is, but it's Wii not offering. It. It's not offering anything at the moment. Is less gen? Is less gen tech? 
it's not offering anything at the moment. It's it's not kind of great. Like nothing amazing. Like yeah, you got Wind Waker HD and it's great, but it's not a reason to. Yeah, you got Monster you Hunter and Monster Hunter. But you did Monster Hunter's on the 3DS. And you can get it on the 3DS as well. Yeah. And like what I'm saying is like. In this game like, you already played before. Yeah, pretty much. But then people would say that same argument for the Vita though. What what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, but see, here's the, thing, here's the thing about the Vita. I don't mean to cut you off, Jeremy, but if you have, if you play all these PlayStation One games and shit, or PSP games on your on your PSP or uh, your PS3, you're gonna have the whole library available to, available to you on the Vita. Pretty much. But on, the, on the on the on the 3DS and Wii U, you you bought a virtual console game on the Wii. You're not getting it for the Wii U. <laughs> here's, here's another thing. Sony marketed their Vita as the console experience on the go, and you're getting all these games that were on consoles on the go. So I mean, you know, Edit. whereas whereas like the Wii U, they they don't even know what they want to do with this thing. They're over here saying, you know, we want the Wii U to be for the core gamer. Yeah. Now, himself, now so. for this season, this holiday season, they're just like we're targeting, you know, Super. the casuals, the families, We've things like that. We've got one game so hot. worth getting right now for She's the Wii U this holiday Cute. season. It's Super Mario 3D World, which I hear yeah. is amazing. Yeah. I hear it is like the best game, best Wii U game. Uh, flat out. It's the best thing since sliced bread. <coughs> what, the um, Mario game? What? Super yeah, Super Mario, Mario Super World 3D. 3D. You know, Super Cat Mario 3D World. I can't see Mario being the greatest No, game I game. hear it's really good. I don't I don't know if it's worth... I, I played it at Comic-Con. Look at him. It was pretty alright. Look at him. It was alright. I can see you having fun with that game if you're playing with three other people. If you're playing it by yourself, it's just standard. It's Super Mario 3D World on your, D on your 3DS on the fucking console. So was, it, um, <clears throat> was there anything else... Uh, I just the minute. I just don't get um, well, Matt brought up something before about our opinions on last gen. Yo, no, well, uh, retrospective. Do that in another video. No? Retrospective coming in our next video. In the future. Next here are, here are uh, thoughts on the last generation of video games. Hold on. That sucked. Hold on. <laughs> that was yeah. last gen. A fart. Yep. Anyway, guys. I guess. But Medley, she's right there. We can't leave her. It's a food medley. Anyway, medley. it's a food medley. Um, yeah. Next time I'll oh, press yeah. like for options, will Goku be Frieza before Namek blows up? No, Tony, well, the so he's working. just big. The one really big. Big. <laughs> the XY, we gotta really work on this endings, guys. <laughs> See you guys later. Really, when you think about it, <laughs> Ghostbusters was the best movie he's ever. Still going. Look at Link. We're done. We're done.